Hey, what's going on guys? B Flatten here with a brand new video today. Today we're going to be talking about the roadmap for PAL World and what the future holds for the game. Now this map was released about 15 minutes ago, so this is completely brand new to anything that may have been announced uh, previously. But uh, let's go ahead and take a look at the post and then we'll take a look at the stock images and see what we have. We would like to share with you our roadmap for PAL World. Sales have far exceeded the development team's expectations, and we are currently experiencing many problems due to excessive access, congestion, among other challenges. We will prioritize improving this issue first, and then move on to implementing new in-game features. Thank you for your understanding. So already that right out of the gate just tells me that they're prioritizing what they should prioritize first. We will prioritize improving this issue first, and then move on to implementing new in-game features. So bugs first, then new features. Perfect. Uh, early access roadmap addressing critical issues. Currently numerous bugs have been identified and we are prioritizing fixing those. Sometimes the world date may experience rollbacks, the loading stream may persist while trying to load into worlds, and so on. Improvements to implement ASAP, key configuration improvements, improvements to base, PAL, AI, and pathing. Oh, thank God. Planned future updates, we have PvP, we have raid bosses as end game content, PAL Arena PvP for PALs, Steam Xbox Crossplay, various Xbox features, uh, feature improvements, server transfers and migrations, improvements to the building system, new islands, PALs, bosses, and technologies. So it sounds like they have a really promising future uh, set in stone ahead of them. And with the sales far exceeding, as they said at the top, um, it sounds like they are just going full steam ahead on this, which they have been doing with uh, hot fixes over the past five days. Now, I really enjoy, again, the prioritizing and improving issues and also just UI and uh, um, uh, quality of life features, QOL, with uh, improvements to base PAL AI and pathing, which is incredible because... Pals would get stuck, pals would not be able to continue their tasks, and it would become um, an, uh, a problem to be able to uh, have uh, pals get stuck in houses, not enter houses, for example. So that is excellent. Now let's go ahead and take a look at the stock images. Addressing critical issues, uh, we read that already. Sometimes a world date may experience rollbacks. Improvements to implement ASAP. Key configuration improvements. Base pal AI, we just read that. Uh, planned future updates. Let's talk about that. PvP and PAL Arena PvP sounds two totally different features because they're two different bullet points. So PAL Arena sounds like it's a 1v1, maybe even a 3v3 environment where it might be AI uh, PALs uh, taking over versus uh, computer-controlled uh, PALs, basically. Uh, PvP sounds like it could be game modes, like 1v1, 3v3, 5v5, or possibly even base versus base, world versus world, server versus server. Uh, PvP could be pretty endless. Raid bosses, end game content that could be 1v1, that could be uh, teams of five to increase difficulty and rewards. That could mean a lot of things. Steam and Xbox crossplay. Honestly, pretty nervous about that because uh, crossplay and uh, just crossplay in general with PC and console has always been pretty struggle uh, in the past but uh, we'll see if they can pull it off. Uh, various Xbox feature improvements, which is good because Xbox is behind PC, so we need that. Um, improvements to the building system. Stairs are kind of weird. Um, I spent like an hour trying to figure out stairs for my base and it only was three stairs. So uh, improvements to the building system like stairs would be incredible. Uh, new islands, which is exploring new stuff. The map is already massive as is. I haven't even explored on the map yet. Uh, so new islands would be incredible. Uh, PALs, which is improving on the 111 that we have currently. Possibly evolutions would be cool. Uh, bosses, of course, if it's not raid bosses, it's just uh, normal bosses in non-raid format. That's awesome. If you uh, do it with new PALs to introduce them, that could be fun. Uh, and technologies, so back to the building system and technologies to build more things. I don't know what else they could really put in the game to build but maybe it has something to do with uh like mounts for the new pals or uh, even end game bosses uh to catch those that could be a lot of fun too 
a uh, very promising roadmap. I don't know about you guys, but if they could pull this off, this would be um, a really good future for the game. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section down below, what you guys are most excited for in the future, or if there's something on this list that you didn't see that you would like to see implemented. There's not really much on top of my head what I could add to this, because this is already pretty promising and uh, quite a um, uh, quite a reach on uh, what is uh, to be expected. I hope they can pull it off, though. They've been banging everything so far on the head, so I'm very, very excited for that. I will see you guys in the next one. My name is B Flattened, and I'm signing on out of here. Take care, all. Laters.